capsules, they're easy to take and go down. I will say though, when you got the herbs capsules, you got raw powder. And I think that's closer to the God herb than, the, than me taking and distilling for 30 days. But I do it with a lot of herbs. I, I have one to four, realistically. Uh, it's hard to explain to you guys about, about herbs, but one to four is as strong as you're going to get in a commercial involvement. If you get them any stronger in your first uh, distillation, you're, you're going to be thick syrup. And you can't sell that. People would be bitching right and left, and you couldn't afford the bottles because one to four. These these you're you're buying herbs at twenty three, I think, or something like that. These are thirty some. Dollars. Richard Schultz sits up and goes, "Ah, mine are so strong in this sort of stuff." And of course, he doesn't do any wholesale. He doesn't give you any breaks, and he's twenty eight to thirty six dollars. Mine's stronger than his. Mine's one to four. Uh, his is probably one to five. But you can't get any stronger than one to four. Best herbs was one to five. Most companies that are good are one to six, and the rest of them are one to seven. I don't know what Gaia herbs is, but they're either one to six probably. One to five was uh, Michael at Blessed Herbs, but you paid more. Uh, uh, mine's one to four, which I pay a lot more for that, and I have it priced under one to sevens. One to seven is uh, nature's way, or used to be nature's way until John got it back. I don't know what he's doing now with it, but you don't buy herbs that way. That's crap. You know, you want herbs, you want them to work. Now, if you eat a meat sandwich and get pressurized head, yeah, that's a problem with some of you guys. Remember, protein. You're gonna, you're all gonna get a good view of why we say no protein, and it's not a pretty picture because we've been brainwashed with proteins. Well, if you think your body needs protein, then you have to agree your body needs starch, and then you have to agree your body needs fats, concentrated fats, because they all are the same variety. But if you're smart, you know your body requires amino acids, not complete amino acids, which are complex proteins are made of them, but they're just complex to the point it's hard to break them apart, and then you've got the pep and polypeptide stages you've got to deal with there. So you've got quite a bit more to deal with than just simple amino acids. You know what I'm saying? And um, you got simple sugars and simple fatty acids. Those are mandatory. But when you complex chemistry, no longer can the body deal with it. Yet we push complex chemistry. I don't get that. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Now, pressurized head. Cold water, especially on the back of the head, neurolymphatic points down the back, get on watermelon fruit, start draining that lymph, get that lymph moving as best you can, because that's what I'm talking about. Too many people are getting pressurized heads. Uh-uh, uh-uh, nothing good comes of this. This gentleman was in this morning, his wife was in, they just drilled holes in her eyes because of glaucomic pressure. Instead of realizing what's causing it and fixing it, they drilled holes in her eyes. Common stuff, but still, it's like, oh, and she was only one week of coming to see me or two. It's like, oh, poor thing. But that doesn't save the day. They just drilled holes in her eyes. They didn't fix her lymph system. So she's got all kinds of things going on. So you know what I'm saying? You guys are getting smart. Stay smart. Don't be pulled in places that have no nowhere to go but dead ends. So thanks. Thanks for that, John. But get that pressurized head out of there. I'm telling you. And remember, when you combine protein and starch, bad news. Starch is a, is a base chemistry digester, and guess what meat is? Acids. So you need an acid. It's so complex, you need an acid to break it apart. Base chemistry won't break uh, meat apart. It requires acids, like Coca-Cola. Actually, Coke won't even hardly do it. It will break up meat eventually. It's hydrochloric acid, which is 10 times hotter than Coke. Coke is just what your cell acids are. Ow! You ever feel a lot of pain anywhere? That's 3 pH pain. Good morning to you all. Good morning, Denise. I wanted to let you know that you are the most amazing. Oh, man. Thank you so much. I love you, honey. It's the same name as my second wife, Denise. There is absolutely nothing boring about... Oh, thanks, sweetheart. I'm... You know, I understand I'm just sitting here rattling off stuff. So I, I don't have pretty things like uh, Danny. 
But, uh, ooh, what's this? Uh, these are your questions that I'm just trying to help, and I'm grabbing every time I can get, so I apologize if they are on the same line, but it's important to get this down, and when you get it down, then, you know, you don't, don't have to listen. Uh, and I have watched them all. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a lot of them. The time and respect you give to the... Oh, I love you. Thank you, honey. I really do. No one out there speaks so much thanks, sweetheart. Oh, man, she resonates with what we're saying. I love you. I love you, too, sweetheart. Thank you, Denise. Thank you for this. We need people like you. Look forward to more... Oh, thanks, Denise. Thanks, thank you, thank you. And love and delight as well. God, it's so good to connect with so many spiritual... Guys, I felt like I've been out in the woods for so long. You know, I was in Eckenkar for about 30 years, somewhere in that range. And, you know, we had a lot of friends there. But, you know, I miss uh, spiritual people, and I miss that. I felt like I've lived out in the uh, darkness too long, you know. But you got to have uh, those people that give the light out. you got to have us in the dark because there's so much darkness out there. So don't be surprised if God doesn't stick you where it's dark because that you're the light, you remember that. Each and every one of you, Denise, you're, you're very much the light, you know. You guys are the light. Kelly, you guys are the light. John, all you guys. You know, Ian, look what you're doing, Ian. All you guys, Marco, you guys are all good. We're all here as one, you know. We all help each other and we help others. And we have our ups and downs, okay. But that's life in general, you know. But getting well. That's the first step. What's the second Getting well spiritually. That's a good step. Mm. Riddle. Riddle. All right. Is allness the same thing as nothingness? Allness implies everything, and nothingness implies nothingness. So I want you to let me know what you think. Allness and nothingness, are they the same, and in what way? All right. Thanks for that, honey. Chad. Hey, Chad. Thanks for reading and answering my question. Oh, you betcha. I mean, that's what I'm here for, and I'll be glad to sit and do all of this. And now I finally have the time, guys. I finally have cleared my schedule to this because I'm hoping this will help so many more people than I can see physically. That's why we have other counselors. I personally train them. I personally sit with them every day and talk with them. When I get a case that I know they're not aware of, I share it with them so they understand how to look at these things. So... You know, they, they're the best trained people out there to help you. You know, I just can't, I just can't, I've just got so much to help you. I'd rather hear, I could help so many more of you guys through this channel. My name is Chad, and I'm from the B.C., British Columbia, Canada. 